this is Emmy Moon, and today I will be reviewing the Prisma Visions Tarot Deck. Prisma Visions Tarot Deck. It sounds better in Spanish. But I did not open this deck yet, and I'm anxious to do this video. And I want to go throughout all the cards and share with you my personal views on this deck. And I'm pretty excited. Um, this was originally a Kickstarter um, card deck campaign. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it finally came. It took a couple of months. So I'm excited to finally get it. It's $45 and now it's available. I will post a link on how you can get it or order it after this below. So this is the Vigens, the Prisma Vigens tarot deck the prisma vision tarot this is the back of it i haven't opened it yet and it shows some of the cards here is a hard box that's nice and let's see what it says in it the fool believe he is someone he is not wading through the waters for some thing on sort and this is beautiful well at least for what i can see right now i like the eye very catching very mystical looking and let's get to the deck okay we have this book and i was anxious i wanted to just start playing with it immediately and i said no i'm gonna wait and do a video wow look at that that's silver. It got silver lining on it. That's beautiful. That's pretty exciting. To me, if I see silver lining um, on a tarot deck, I think first that's pretty rare. I only know one other deck that has the silver. Other ones have gold. So it makes me already feel like I don't want to shuffle it too much because I know that kind of wears off. Let's see the card stop before I start going on the... Pretty good card stock too. Okay, before I start shuffling. And this is the Fool. This deck has something very special about it. It came with this card too. This deck. With this deck. Um, you can actually... I'm gonna go through the cards. You can actually put um, the minors together and it will show a part. It will show um, an image, a whole scene. It will create a scene. So the images here, look at the lovers. It's very artsy, it's very dark as well. I will feel that, oh, that's nice. Look at the Wheel of Fortune. For me, I, that's nice, that's justice. For me personally, it's a little dark. But I, I bought this deck because it is it is unique. And as a tarot collector, that's something I'm very drawn to. Oh, I love the death card. Wow, look at that flower. Look at the hand holding it. That's pretty cool. That's very unique. The temperance. It's hard for me to think of that as the temperance. This is the devil. It makes me feel like I'm... And this is the tower. The star card. The moon. The sun, this is a different sun from what I'm used to. See, personally, personally, I'm a big writer fan. <laughs> I, I like buying decks that um, makes me connect to the writer. And anyway, 
judgment the door of judgment that's different that's pretty unique I like that the world and the next card is the strawberries <laughs> the strawberry card so uh, it's okay it's uh, the question mark a mangled half-eaten strawberries I'm gonna go and look through that book right now and see what does the strawberries mean because obviously this is a uh, one of those special cards in the deck it reminds me of, like the square squirrel deck uh, square card in um, the tarot so let's see what the strawberries mean <laughs> I'm I'm very curious to what this card mean let's see oh the strawberries so here it is in the book it's the strawberries it got a question mark life's burst forth forth streaming out of strawberries <laughs> okay this sentimental energy represents in many of the strongest most active cards of the tarot deck jubilant and powerful it flocks to any conduct that it can manifest when you see its energy turn up in a read, know that someone facet is in your life and is anointed right now. You are charged with the same raw power that split open the first atoms of the universe. Many, <laughs> many readers will opt to take the strawberries out of their deck. I believe so, as it is not part of the original arcana. The choice is yours to make. So he added an extra card and it's the strawberries. And before we go to the miners, I like the book. It's very, it's very sturdy. It's not made by cheap material. Look at that. And he, it looks like he really goes into, oh wow. Getting to know your deck. He has some, some spreads here. And that's cute. He put a lot of work into this. So this wasn't a book just created, tirado así, or thrown like that. You could tell he put dedication in creating the book. Even the the paper is good quality stock. And then he put their little, their symbol. So each card got their own icon too. This is interesting. I, it's, uh, I really respect it because you can tell that someone put work into it very detailed queen of wands swords then they talk about the air, um the elements the song of swords um the seasons as well and it, it connects with the sign so that's pretty cool i like that as well that's that's nice so anybody could literally um pick up this tarot deck and read the book that's with it i like the a quality a quality um box of cards it makes you appreciate the deck a bit more and i love it look at the inside of it so that's a big plus here so let's go into the miners now the miners i know that is going to be something special because it's like a puzzle that they say that you can put the the cards and connect the cards together and cre actually create a scene so i'm anxious to see what that scene would be so let me zoom out a bit hopefully i can get all right so let's do ace of cups ace of chalice look at that this is exciting this is something different and it's definitely exciting for me as a reader um, as a card collector, because this is something that you do not see every day. I really respect the artists when they're thinking outside the box of the tarot. So let's first see how this scene will look. I don't have enough space. Hmm. I wonder if the pages go with this. Yes, even the pages continue the scene. So each suit has its own 
scene. That will be very um, kind of neat to put in a big um, a big picture frame, each suit and hang it on your wall. So it's art. That's one of the things why I keep collecting tarot because it's art for me. It's artwork, and you could divine with it. So I never really get bored. Just keep buying the different decks and redoing different decks. Wow. So. Let's zoom in a bit and look on the first, the scene of what's going on here. Wow. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Alright, so I, we could see the full scene here. Move the camera. That's something pretty special. So, we have the Ace of Cups here. Um, that's the two of cups. Oh, look at that. They're in romance and romantic love and they're gazing into each other's eyes. And the three of cups shows women dancing for it's, of course, the boredom. It looks like he's looking at these people having fun. And it actually shows these two. It's, it's like a fool's journey. That's incredible. I love this. It's A plus for this. So here he's, it looks like there's love bursting. And then you have the two of cups, which stands for romance. I can't wait for this so I can read the swords. Um, romance couple, cheering celebration. You have the person boredom there. And he looks like he's looking at these two people, that he, three people. He looks like he's not interested. And it kind of ties into... The five of cups. Hmm. I don't. It it taught. It looks like someone's dumping things into the sea, which is the end of this cliff. I guess that this. I call that the spilled milk card. Don't cry over spilled milk. And we have the six of cups. You hear my daughter singing. The six of cups. The six of cups. Um. It looks like a mermaid or someone swimming into the water I'm not really getting how I will relate to that card and then we have the seven of cups here so there we have the snake in the middle of all the kind of temptations or different options or forced things that we are promised or things that we are promised and the eight of cups which me always stands for someone walking away and we do have that portrayed here let bygones be bygones but i'm trying to tie it into this port <laughs> this portion i guess that's where i get a little confused so it looks like someone's spilling something pouring things out and then it turns into something here i'm not sure how i really connect that card to six of cups yet um but each artist is different seven of cups eight then we have wishes cards nine of cups is there ten and then it looks like it falls into a whole other scene a part of this with the page knight queen and king and that's beautiful it looks like he's giving birth to all this energy and these different energies pick these up um so that's pretty interesting how would i read this in the reading coming up I would probably stick to reading these cards upright. You know, I think it would get confusing and it's a lot of colors for me to be dealing with personally. But I, I, I think it's a beautiful deck so far. So let's go to the next set. This is going to even be more interesting. Ace of Pentacles. Two. I like this. Thing. I think this is important. I will recommend this deck to any true tarot card collector. Yes, it's $45 plus shipping, I believe. I'm not sure. But what other deck can you say has this? I'm not sure if there's another one printed like this. 
um, not to my knowledge, but of course I could be wrong. I respect the art. I love art. Okay, so let's now look at this scene here. All right, so this is the pentacles, the coins. Ah, wow. When you take a step back and you kind of look at it, um, they're dressed in red. Reminds me of Humpty Dumpty, the opening. I like that. Um, the three of coins, the artist. So it it, it is, it is very writer ish, right away type. I love that. The four of coins, it, it sticks to it. Five of coins, the suffering. There goes the beggar. That's beautiful. Six of pentacles is charity. Um, seven of pentacles, and this is the one. Um, I like this card because it talks about planting the seeds and kind of investing you know so you can reap the benefits of your efforts after and it shows that he's actually planting the seeds the coins so they could flourish eight of pentacles is the work nine now that's the is this the lady oh yeah she's very luxurious and it plays out a scene where it taught it, it looks like a lot of effort our um creation and then it's, it is beautiful look we have a unicorn over here for the night i like the page here and over here is the queen and the king oh the king of pentacles look at that i love it he's showing off right how he can do things the bull i like this very artistic In a reading, when you get two combinations, two cards together, ah, there goes the swords. These are the ones I wanted to see. I wonder what would say something's connected, something's going, something's flowing when it matches. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I am such a tarotholic. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And this is just a whole new level of tarot right here. Because it's like putting the pieces together and um, getting this, this beautiful artwork afterwards. Oh, wow. So, obviously, we have this this bird down here and it looks like it's attacking or uh <laughs> it looks like it's attacking and coming down on this person over here right and what is that that's the nine of swords anxiety stress you know <laughs> and it actually looks like it's about to eat him i'll be i'll have some anxiety too with that one wait a minute i just want to put these two together because it's up there let's see what's going on with this one Oh, that's the seven of swords and the ten. So it almost looks like a plan to attack, a plan to pin someone down. That's that's pretty creative. I like that. I knew I would enjoy the swords the most. <laughs> you know, it's like action to me. It's like action. It's like um, the action part of the movie. Um, so the swords when you're reading the tarot, you know. Um, the suspense, the tension. So I knew that the swords would probably display something like that. So the three of swords, wow. So this guy looks like he's debating, right? He's blindfolded. Looks like his cattle or the reindeer's pinned down there. It's hurt, that's the three of swords. Um, four of swords, looks like he, then he's thinking about things. It's like almost a... You playing out a, a movie scene here, and you have five swords there. So people battling, then they crossing this bridge. Ooh, I would like to read it in the book on um, how this will go. I would like to see what it says by each scene. Okay, and 
this looks like he's it's someone pinned down it looks like he the ten of swords is here um he already has a victim in his claws and he it looks like he's finally ready to to fend ah the page of swords look at that it looks like he's ready to to fight things off there he's ready for battle after this happens it kind of prepared him because he's looking there that's incredibly awesome and look there's the knight the brave person and it looks like the queen of swords um actually had the strategy and had the power um to tie down its mouth the attacker and what is this king of swords doing it's butterflies <laughs> wow very interesting suit right here and so far this is my favorite so far i'm a little excited there <laughs> okay and now we're with the wands Okay, so this is the last suit, and it's the wand. So let's see how the end of the show kind of plays out. I need to read the book. I'm hoping it has, like, the whole storyline. I'm sure it does. But, again, I have not played with the cards yet. This is the first time I'm putting it together. So we have the Ace of Wands. The energy, creativity. Three of Wands is here. Okay, Four of Wands building. Okay, the Five of Wands. The battles, the conflicts. Six of Wands. This is a different. That's a different Six of Wands for me. Or maybe that means victory and success, you know, but that's a little bit, a bit different. Seven. Hmm. Eight of wands. Um, so what can I say? Eight of wands, nine of wands. It's hard to really see the action and kind of the, the play or the story in the wands. Um... It's hard. This actually almost um, makes me feel like I'm reading pipes again rather than the writer. Because even though there is scenes through here, it's hard to really see that. You know? It's hard to see really the scene and what was going on. Again, this is the creativity. The wands. Um... I'm not really sure what's going on over here though. Page, the Ten of Wands. So it makes me feel with the wands that I'm reading pipes and that's just how I see it from now. All right, so one last thing. I want to take the book before I go into, I want to take the book and see if it has the storylines just to tell you if it has the storylines or not. So we'll kind of explain the things. Uh, let's just see really quickly. And I am not sure if that has it. I don't want to waste this time. Um, doesn't look like it. The wands is the suit of creation. The following journey is idea. Instead of the matter of strength and tennis safeguard, you must show your measurable have faith. So I don't really feel that it tells this whole storyline of what's going on, but it's obvious that some you can read it. And the last thing is how to shuffle. If how good is shuffling these cards? Let's see. Is there easy to shuffle? It's pretty easy to shuffle. I love the way it's very smooth. The cardstock is smooth too. 
is definitely a collector's deck. They're so beautiful. It's too bad that I, I shuffle like this because I don't want to ruin the edges. But this is the way I know how to shuffle. And they're so beautiful. Jewelry. Would I use these on a daily basis? the the majors I would like to see how it will play out in a reading though I feel that if you know the pipes really good you'll be able to read with these um, I'll recommend them to everyone because they're so artistic and different from what I'm used to in a tarot deck and when you create a scene it kind of brings more excitement to the reading if you see two cards come together as these you see like a bigger picture of it it almost reminds me that um the emily carding um the emily carding um transparent tarot deck that you kind of put the images together to create a bigger image and this is exactly what's happening here all right so this is the this is the Prisma Vision Tarot Deck. You could get yours now. It's $45. And thank you all for watching. Take care and God bless. This is Emmy Moon.